Yeah, the actual discovery was something that we did uh, about 25 years ago, uh, where we were just trying to understand a basic phenomenon of how chromosomes are maintained. So the chromosomes are in the cell, and they have to uh, package all of the DNA for the genetic material in the cell. And there was this puzzle about how it is that they can be copied completely to the end every time a cell divides. The Nobel Prize was given for physiology or medicine, and the medical implications of the fundamental discovery uh, weren't apparent until we and many other people had then followed up and understood that it turned out that this enzyme telomerase plays a major role in human disease. When do you think you first understood that you had dyslexia? I didn't understand it was dyslexia until much later because at that time they weren't diagnosing dyslexia. Um, I was uh, told that I was a poor speller, I was taken out of classes, um, given remedial uh, training, and I always thought that I was really kind of stupid. <laughs> I mean, I got D's and F's in my English class, which of course I didn't really care because it wasn't going to count for anything. Um, but looking back at those, um, then years later, I thought, you know, maybe there was really something going on here. Um, and then when it came to the standardized tests, um, I just did very, very poorly on standardized tests. Uh, so both the, um, the SATs uh, and the GREs. The only thing I can figure out is uh, this, this connection between, um, you know, my complete inability to see a new word and pronounce it. I, I still can't do that. reading when my kids were small, reading dinosaur books, I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> All those dinosaur names, I would, I would pronounce them wrong every single time. <laughs> Unless I would memorize them, like Triceratops, I can get that one now, or Ichthyosaurus, but that's only because I've memorized it. And then, uh, when my son was dyslexic, I had a little bit more understanding when he had trouble in school and needed a tutoring and all of that sort of stuff. Um, it was very clear to me that it was going to be helpful for him to get tutoring really early, and then I read all the books on dyslexia. Um, and um, decided that, you know, help him along and, and he's done he's done very well now and is in uh, in regular school so but now you know having thought more about the dyslexia and all that sort of stuff and read more about it um, I go back and I question you know maybe I really wasn't as stupid as I thought I was and I you know I learned that I had to work hard but but maybe I was, uh, you know, putting myself in a different category um, because there wasn't anyone around to say, it's not because you're stupid, it's because you have this other, um, this other issue. Which I can now say to my son. I can say, you know, look, I'm a professor at Johns Hopkins. Just because you're dyslexic doesn't mean you can't do anything you want to do.